Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out and reviewing this 3D printed accessory for playing PlayStation 4. It's pretty awesome. It's time to test out another 3D printed accessory for accessible gaming. Uh, if you recall, I've got a whole library full of 3D printed parts that help people with physical disabilities be able to game. Most of them are untested. Most of them especially are untested by me. Some of them are completely untested. So I like to pick one, print it, see how it works, share my thoughts and results with you in case you want to print one as well. So today we're going to be checking out a top-down design for PlayStation 4 made by the user Cisco on printables.com. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out and print it. So looking at it, this thing looks really cool. Uh, and, you know, right off the bat, you can see there's lots of documentation here on the design and how to assemble it. You can see lots of photos of it actually assembled and working. And you can see a whole pile of parts that were the iteration process of the design. So I have pretty high hopes that this is going to work. Now, before we go and print it, I want to give a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. Uh, they pay for this. Remember, the people who order custom designs from me, the people who order these 3D prints don't pay. Everything is supported out of pocket through donations and through our Patreon supporters. So thank you very much to our Patreon supporters and our uh, sponsors, Able Gamers and Prusa Printers. You can find links to all that down below. All right, let's print this thing. Okay, it's all printed. There are a lot of parts here, and I could see why this would be daunting to somebody who was unfamiliar or wasn't used to assembling stuff like this. But luckily, the person who made this uploaded a very nice guide on how to assemble it and a few tips and tricks to the actual page where you download the files. So let's go ahead and get this assembled. Now I did skip on a few little things like here on the buttons. Um, I didn't do the different color for the, the symbols, uh, you know, honestly, I just didn't feel like it, but the rest of this should go together just fine. It just won't have a few little color differences, you know, different things on the top, but it should work just fine. So let's do it. Okay, this is done, and uh, it's it's like 99% assembled, and I have to say I am super impressed. This is some creative engineering and solid work. Uh, this is by the user Cisco on printables. Of course, there's a link to it down below, but let's go through this thing and look at what we've got here. The whole thing, fully assembled, works, looks just like it does in their pictures. It's got this this nice little dock so that you could screw it down to a surface and click it in, uh, click it in place. I mean, they really, really thought this out. And the, the largeness of it here means that you could play it top down. Now remember, I'm not reviewing the playability of this because I don't have a, a disability that requires this. And even if I had a disability that required this, everybody's needs are unique. So what I'm actually reviewing is does it go together? Does it do what it says? Do the parts print? Is the documentation good? Etc. Documentation was good, but 
I could have used some more clarity on where which which one of these little long extensions goes in where. Um, ultimately, I figured it out. It wasn't too bad, but it, it worked fine. I did not read the instructions very carefully, and it says for those long slender pieces that go down in there to print those in, uh, in a, a little bit more flexible material. I printed everything here out of PLA, and it worked just fine. Mm -hmm. But it's important to test your materials because the people at Makers Making Change uh, contacted me. They made this one, and they found that these parts that go onto the thumbsticks uh, broke for them. Mine are tough. I'll share what uh, PLA that I use. I use this Overture PLA off of Amazon. There's a link to it in the, in the description down below, an affiliate link. I use it, and so far it's been insanely tough for me. Um, this stuff is not breaking. I can screw this stuff on uh, and really crank on it, and it is, it, it, well, that one isn't screwing on very tight. That one, I don't know if it has threads in there. Uh, no, no. Anyway, these are not breaking for me. They're super tough. They're tight, and they're like, ah, like, there's no way you are pushing it that hard while you're playing here. It can't even go that far out of the way. But if your material is brittle, they'll snap when you're screwing it on. So you'd want to print those pieces laying down sideways. I'll provide a link to the Makers Making Change version, but here's what I'm talking about. So these uh, thumbstick pieces, really hard to get back off once you've got them on. Here, let me open this sucker up. That'll make it easier. Oh, I forgot. My glue is still drying on some of those parts. So these, these thumbstick pieces, they're two pieces. Then they clamp onto the thumbstick and it makes threads that you then screw a part onto. If that's brittle for you, you want to print those laying down. And the folks at Makers Making Change did a version of their own that's kind of reoriented that way. I'll put a link to that as well. Or you can just lay those down and print them that way. They'll be a little bit stronger in that angle. Mine, however, are tough. Uh, maybe it's just the PLA I'm using. Maybe it's the amount of humidity in the air here. Um, but mine are plenty, are sufficiently tough. Um, the buttons, they feel like they work. I only have one button here out of this whole group that isn't seated right. And I don't know what its deal is, but it's, it's here. And I didn't glue the little buttons on these three uh, because... I just didn't feel like it, and they're, they're not quite sitting right. That's like your select, start, and then uh, PlayStation button. Um, so I wasn't too worried about it. The only major downfall to this, aside from those long skinny pieces, is there's no way to hit the shoulder buttons. This is your trigger, and that is such a cool mechanism. It's a print and place hinge, um, but that's your trigger. Here are your shape buttons, here are your directional buttons, joystick, start, select, PlayStation button. No way to hit your shoulder buttons. They should add that as well. I love this. I think this is fantastic. I mean, this is so well done. And the fact that you can just pop your controller out of it is wild to me. It just pops right out. And while it's in there, they even have holes so you can plug in your headphones or your charging port or whatever you need to. Uh, Cisco really thought this out. I mean, that was really well done. I don't know what's wrong with this one, why it wasn't sitting right in there, um, but to have only one piece not quite fit, that is it. Now, if I were to change something about this whole setup, it would be this, this design. For how thin those are, I could see that causing a problem for some people for assembly. Um, there's a few ways you could go about changing it that makes this whole thing a little bit more complex, so I can see why they did it this way. But even though those are super skinny and could be kind of brittle if your material is brittle, um, they worked on mine perfectly fine except for just one. And I, I, I'm sure with a little bit of fiddling here I could get that one to seat in there correctly. I mean, even maybe right now while we're sitting here talking, I can, I can figure it out. Yeah, it's just long. 
I just need to shave a little bit off of the end of it. I don't know why it's longer than the others. Maybe it's supposed to go... Yeah, okay, I just have them in the wrong spots. That one's supposed to go to the PlayStation button, and this one that I can't quite pull out here is supposed to go over here. Uh, so problem solved. I mean, not a problem. And what I think is incredible, again, is I printed this all out of PLA. There, look at that. Jeez, this is so cool. Cisco, fantastic job. This is incredible stuff. Not only does it have a tall joystick, a short joystick, and a thumbstick, it's got a loop, and it has a, an extender. So um, I, I broke this extension piece off, but you would stick this on, and then you could extend this out to be somewhere else. That is incredible. Fantastic work. This one gets a huge thumbs up from me. I'm going to reassemble this thumbstick here just so that I can show it all fully assembled and working. All right, it's back together. Again, the only thing that's missing are these little pretty pieces that glue on the top here for those buttons. I'm so impressed. I think this is super well done. Great job, Cisco. I'm going to put a link to this, of course, down below. That's so cool. Well, there you have it. This print is, you know, an absolute success in my mind. I think that this format actually has a ton of potential for like moving buttons around and maybe setting up a single hand setup, doing joysticks. Here's another thing I didn't even mention before. Since it's got these great big old like cones here, it limits it from going too far which means you're not gonna snap it off, which means you could do a whole big joystick out here and you're not gonna break it off, you're not gonna hurt the thumbstick and you're not gonna snap it off. I, I kind of love this thing. This is really well done. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's another one for the books. I love testing them when they work out well. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this one, what you would improve about it, what you would like to see changed on it or what other models from the library you would like to see designed. Again, if you wanna support me, check out, there's places on the website to donate, and there's a Patreon where you could follow me and help pay to get these in people's hands who need them. Insurance doesn't pay for this stuff for gamers with disabilities. A lot of people, you know, they're struggling for money. I like to get it to them at no cost. Donations support it, all right. But even just a thumbs up or watching this video helps. So that's it for now, thank you. I'll see you next time.